all right guys so welcome back to my uh to this class and uh, i want you to pay attention to what i'm going to teach you guys today what i'm going to be showing today is how you can use the limit uh, uh the limit method or the limit strategy to buy a high stock for instance uh you have a stock like this nvidia which is uh trading at uh, 1000 uh, 1060 something dollars today and uh, probably you have just hundred dollars or two hundred dollars or fifty dollars you want to enter the market um how do you how do you buy such that you will buy probably when the stock falls down below one thousand or below one thousand sixty dollars so, so how do you do that the first thing you do as a value investor is not just to go ahead and buy i'm going to open my account one of my account for uh the trading and then uh, teaching you can see this stock this is uh, a uh, portfolio i have a lot of uh, stock right here and many of them are actually running low uh, probably as the market is uh, uh, already closed by the by the time i'm actually uh, recording this is already midnight uh, Sunday so by Monday uh, afternoon the market will open and most of these uh, values are going to change so this is Nvidia and uh, currently Nvidia is selling at $1,069 $1,069 you can see I'm actually trading this I have uh, one unit of Nvidia in this particular uh, uh stock so you first and foremost go ahead to do your normal analysis you need to read about the company you need to check the valuation you check the health the past performance of the stock and then uh, de decide if you would pen down or risk your money or invest your money in this particular company or if you want to actually stick with this company can you stay long term with them don't forget that in 20, in 2005 when nvidia listed a stock in the uh, uh stock market that is uh, nasdaq that is nasdaq uh, index uh, it was sold for four dollars you can go and uh, fact check this four dollars and that is why today if you had invested let's say uh one uh, uh, one thousand dollars it would have worth around 500 and something uh, thousand dollars currently so what do you do you need to read through all this check the valuation what is the uh what is the valuation of nvidia you can see it is overvalued however you don't just only dwell on the overvalued stuff for such big uh, uh big uh, uh, company nvidia is doing something that everyone should expect it to even trade above is uh, intrinsic value that is the the fair value so you could still with this particular company if you check the the past the future growth of this uh, company you see what the projection is you can see what the projection is right from 2003 that is last year you can see this is 2024 and in 2025 is going to it's going to boom more 2026 2027 is going to blast so when you read through this the future growth of a particular company it can give you that full confidence to say okay you want to invest your money that is why i encourage every one of you want to invest invest your money with most of these uh, uh, blue chip stocks so back to our analysis so once you have done all these analyses you check the past performance of course the past performance will also wow you you can see the growth from 2014 2015 2016 down to 2020 2021 it start picking up you know 2022 it picked up 2023 there is uh, there was a little drop and then you can see what is actually going on especially with respect to the current ai boom the ai boom has come to stay and nvidia remains the giant of ai uh, invention and uh, creation so i haven't done all this on so how do you buy using the limit uh, limit strategy now i'm going to use this so for instance i want to buy this particular stock 
you see what I have in my portfolio I have um, uh, $345 and currently Nvidia is $1,069.04 now if you want to buy you come to this uh, trade type trade type you just click on it and you see limit once you click on limit you then decide if you want to buy how many would you want to buy you just come here say okay if nvidia falls down to one thousand dollars one thousand dollars you put the number of shares you want to buy do you see the way it is so once you put the number of the shares you want to buy you click continue and then it would have it will immediately be set for you so that once nvidia drops to 1000 this particular stock would pick automatically without you being there this is so awesome this is wonderful for you to trade especially when you are trying to monitor a particular stock or you are trying to you know to enter the market when uh, when it is deep you know that is what you do and then you also you can also do that if you want to sell if you want to sell sell any of your stock let me say uh, for instance, I want to I want to buy um, let me check Let me check most of all these and see the one that I can buy I think uh, I think I still have uh, I still have uh, Palantir I still have Palantir in my portfolio I have Marathon Okay, let's say I want to buy I want to buy a uh, Palantir. Let me say I want to buy one more Palantir. I want to buy uh, five more uh, Marathon Digital. You see, so let me do that practically so that you can see. I'll come here and click on uh, Mara. See when Mara was at seventeen dollars. So let me say I'll come here now. I want to buy. Let me let me buy. I'll come to here and change the trade type to limit and I will say if marathon drops to nineteen dollars point let's say point sixty seven cent if it dropped to nineteen dollars I want to buy let's say five units you just put the five unit there just the same way I, I I gave example on Nvidia the same thing applies here you click on continue it will automatically calculate how, may, how much is going to cost you with the service fee the service fee for buying this number of uh, shares that is five five units at nineteen dollars sixty seven cent would be ninety six cent that is the, the the service fee so in total i will be paying ninety nine dollars ninety nine dollars thirty three cent so approximately you will get five units that is what i placed so I can go ahead and say okay buy asset as soon as I click buy asset you come to your order history it will be showing processing to be showing processing process means that one first as at the time I'm recording this the market is already closed then secondly if the market is on it will be processing waiting for in uh, mar marathon to drop to the value which I actually set it on the on the limit but right now I'm not buying marathon so I'm going to cancel it so you can see you can even set it if it has not gotten to the point where you are you want to buy or probably you are on the market and the market is on and you just saw another opportunity better than marathon that you want to buy you can come here to cancel it you know because if you don't cancel it if it peaks by the time you want to sell you will also pay another uh, charges to rebuy again do you understand and there is always a drop when you are selling than when you are buying so i will cancel this because i don't want it so the same thing applies if you also want to sell if you want to sell any of your uh stock let's say i want to sell uh, let's say I want to sell this uh, super micro computer I uh, will say okay sell and you can see the amount it is for me to sell I can say okay set 
a limit or stop loss you can see on selling you see stop loss in case you are losing you can just decide to say okay if since me personally i'm also losing over 22 percent of my investment with the super microcomputer i can say okay if this hit 25 percent loss please stop it and what would be 25 percent i mean say okay if i lose 500 dollars please stop it i don't want to continue however if you want to sell you can set the limit and say okay if this particular stock touch down let's say 1450 1450 uh, dollars 45 cents if it drops down to that i can say okay sell one I want to sell one unit because you can see now I have one unit and some fraction. So this is why I told you guys that you can buy uh, any fraction of the stock. So once I do this, I can just go ahead and click uh, continue. Of course, there is always a service fee when you are selling. You see, that is why at any given time you want to enter the market you need to take your time to calculate and make sure that you are not losing beyond the service fee once they put the service fee uh, you to look as if you are already losing much so for me for all the stock that i sell i make sure that i make the service fee almost times five before i sell so when i sell they take their service fee of course this particular one is a high cost uh, stock so the service fee will also be a bit high so this is how you can sell that and then once you just click on sell asset it will be there waiting you come to the other history you can see is showing processing it's showing processing but for me i'm not selling this store because currently i'm losing i don't want to lose so high so i wait once it picks up i will sell that makes you a value investor so these are how you can always uh, manage your portfolio and make sure that you are not losing a lot of money so guys in the next video what i want to show you is how to use most of these applications most of these softwares and, and platforms to be able to determine the direction of a particular stock to know the stock that will boom within the shortest period of time where you'll be considering you'll be considering the shares are standing you also consider the short float you check as well the 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 shortable and the auctionables so these are what you will see in my next video of course i will always want to create a course and then have a class for you guys to learn from this so make sure you are following me on my youtube don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because most of all this information that i drop that can help you i always drop them on daily basis on the youtube channel and you will learn a lot on my youtube channel you can also like and drop your comment see you in my next video